on the maiden flight of a space shuttle Enterprise, an emergency arose that almost caused the commander, who was on Apollo 13, to lose control of the spacecraft. Stay with us to see what happened and hear the full story from the commander, Fred Hayes. This program is brought to you by a great group of Patreon subscribers. Go to our Patreon page to read more. Join our Patreon supporters and get exclusive content and product discounts. In this issue of Spacecraft Guide, we are going to be working on the space shuttle again, and I am going to have a special for our Patreon users if, at the end. So if you're a Patreon user, you're going to get something special. But today, we're going to be working on something inside the crew compartment. And when you click on this, it takes you to the inside of the space shuttle. And the part that we're going to be working on is going to be uh, dealing with the control surfaces in the computer and what happens when it goes out. So this green button, you click on that to the inside of the uh, panel here. And we are going to be working on these displays. So we click here. That takes us to the display panel. And the displays on the flight deck, they allow onboard monitoring of systems, software processing, and manual control for the crew data and software manipulation. When we uh, go to here, uh, down here, we're going to see in the general that it will take us to the description about the um, how those panels fit into the system. And over here, we have a display that takes us to a description of what happened when they were first trying to fly the shuttle. So when you click on it, it will actually show you what, uh, what happened on that first flight. And it'll be narrated by Fred Hayes, commander of the first shuttle enterprise and a member of Apollo 13. To get deeper into what happened, we want to go into the schematics. So when we go down here to the schematics, we will see that here are the computers and here are the display, uh, display electronics units or um, going to the CRT, which CRTs are the displays. And one of the interesting things you'll see here is the controllers and everything are not connected directly to the control surfaces like the elevator ailerons, even the nose wheel steering and brakes. All of that goes through the computers. And if you're a Patreon user, we're going to show you that schematic and how that works, because this was one of the first actual uses of fly by wire. They tested it on other uh, the um, other aircraft, including a helicopter, but it was never successful. This was the successful use of fly by wire. And again, if you go to um, the video, you can see or you can hear Fred A. Hayes explain about how that all happened. I would like to use this interactive virtual reality exhibit on the command module, the lunar module, and the surface of the moon. Just go to our Patreon page and the link will be down below.